Oh, good afternoon. And today we are looking at the lymphatic system. What is the lymphatic system? The ability to defend against pathogens and resist infection disease is called immunity. All the cells and tissues involved in producing immunity are part of the immune system. The immune system is a functional system that includes parts of the lymphatic, integumentary, cardiovascular, respiratory, and digestive systems. A major function of the lymphatic system is to drain body fluids and return to the bloodstream. Blood pressure causes leakage of fluids from capillaries, resulting in the accumulation of fluid in interstitial space. The lymphatic system drains the excess fluid and empties it back into the bloodstream via a series of vessels, trunks, and ducts. Lymph is a term used to describe interstitial fluid once it has entered the lymphatic system. The main function of the lymphatic system is to produce, maintain, and distribute immune cells. To provide a good defense, immune cells must first detect a pathogen and must be able to reach the site of the pathogen infection. Some immune cells circulate in our blood and can enter or leave the capillaries that serve most of our tissues. Other immune cells live in our tissues. The majority of lymphocytes live in lymphoid tissues and circulate through lymphoid organs, interstitial fluid, and back to the lymphatic system, increasing the chance they will encounter the antigen pathogen. The lymphatic system consists of lymph, which is a plasma-like fluid with a lower concentration of proteins, lymphatic vessels, a network of vessels that carry lymph from peripheral tissues that connect to vein. Lymphoid cells are primary cells of the immune system, immune system, such as phagocytes and lymphocytes. The lymphoid tissues and organs are primary sites where the lymphocytes are formed and mature, and secondary sites where the lymphocytes are activated. So looking at primary lymphoid organs, this is a site in formation of maturation of immune cells. The red bone marrow is involved in maintaining normal lymphocyte productions. It produces two types of lymphocytes, B cells and T cells. B cells mature and the bone marrow into the bloodstream and migrate to the peripheral tissues. Most move into the lymph nodes, lymphoid tissues or the spleen. There's also the thymus, which is a primary lymphoid organ, where there's formation and maturation of T cells. T cell stem cells migrate from the bone marrow to the thymus where they mature. They produce a hormone called thymosin that promotes T cell formation. And once the T cells are almost fully mature, they leave the thymus and go to peripheral tissues. Now looking at secondary lymphoid organs, Lymphocytes develop and mature in the primary lymphoid organs, but they must mount, they mount immune responses from the secondary lymphoid organs, such as the spleen and lymph nodes. These are features in common, lymphocytic lymphocyte follicles, which are areas for B and T cells, and general centres, which are sites of rapidly dividing B cells. The lymph nodes act as a filter in the early warning system. They filter the lymph before it goes into the veins. They contain macrophages and dendritic cells that remove 99% of debris or pathogens from the incoming lymph. Lymph nodes also function as a guard house. Any antigens in the tissues are carried by the lymph where they can be recognised by the immune system and initiate the adaptive immune response. So here you can see the second lymphoids and the structure. You have the lymphatic vessels, the geminal centres, the lymphatic uh, lymphatics and the blood filled cavities and as well as the efferent lymphatics. So in summary, the lymphatic system is responsible for the formation and distribution of immune cells, specifically lymphocytes and distribution of immune cells. There are two types of lymphoid organs, primary and secondary. The primary lymphoid organs are the thymus and bone marrow, which are responsible for the differentiation and maturation of T and B cells. And these are key cells of that community. You have the secondary lymphoid organs, which is a spleen and lymph nodes, and sites where the immune cells can interact with each other to coordinate an immune response. They are also responsible for filtering the blood and lymph to remove pathogens. That's the end of today's video. Please keep liking and commenting, and I hope to see you in the next one.